Be careful. There's Long Kang here. There I'm in. Just kidding, it isn't. We're actually at Pongo LRT station and here it's actually a LRT platform made for another LRT line which they started but didn't manage to finish. The Pongo LRT that we know today has two branches, the East Loop and the West Loop. But when this LRT was first conceived, did you know there was a third branch? The North Branch. The early plans for the North Branch can be seen as far back as this newspaper article from 1998 and even on this map of Pongo from 2002. You can see here that the line would have gone alongside the West Loop up to Tikli Station, then further north, it would have branched out eastward to four more stations called Coastline, Semangat, Minpiri, and Coney Island. On a modern MRT map, the line would have looked something like this. You can see from Google Earth that the North Branch got quite far in the planning stages that the architects designed the LRT station for it too. They've left this gap straight through the middle for a third track to pass through the central platform. But when the North Branch plans were cancelled, they decided to cover up the unfinished tracks instead by bridging it into a one big platform. Besides the cover-up meter platform, there are other clues that you can see how this line would have gone. If you look at the LRT tracks between Pongo and Samki on satellite view, you will notice one long unelectrified track that goes from the middle platform to this weird web of unfinished track crossings. That's likely because they were meant to control traffic so that only one train can go to some key station at a time. Then, as the train approaches Tekli Station, which is still close by the way, it would have gone to this track branch that seems to go to nowhere. That was actually for the North Branch trains to bypass Tekli so that it can go to Coastline Station much faster. Then, when the train returned from Coney Island, it would have joined back to the West Loop track through here and made a stop at Big Lee. So, they've started. But why didn't they finish the line? The first reason is, well, you guessed it, the lack of development. Most rail projects are only built or opened when there are enough developments in the area. It's the same reason why the Pongo LRT stations themselves were open in stages over many years. The same reason why Tikli Station is still closed for more than 20 years and counting. On the flip side, you could argue that building new train stations can encourage development around the area. Before the opening of the North East Line here in 2003, Pongo back then was just a very Ulu forest. Fast forward 20 years later, Pongo is now one of the hottest new towns to BTO! So, with Pongo pretty well developed today, surely they will continue building the North Branch, right? Well... Hmm. Right now, as we speak, the upcoming Pongo Digital District, which includes a new SIT campus, is being built around Tekli Station. So it will finally have a reason to open once it's finished. But the buildings would have gotten in the way of where the North Branch would have gone. And finally, a new MRT extension is already in the works which will make the North Branch redundant. Psst. The Pongo Coast Extension. Announced in 2013, this new extension to the North East Line would extend the line from the current Pongo terminus to a new Pongo Coast Station, situated quite near where Coastline LRT Station would have been had it been built. With the new extension scheduled to open in 2024, it's one more reason why we don't need the North LRT branch. But here's the thought, is it really bad that we don't get to build the North LRT branch? I would say, probably not. I mean, put it this way, if you were going from Sengkang to visit Pongo Jetty, would you rather wait for one more stop and reach Pongo Coast? Or get off at Pongo, go up the escalator, wait another 5 minutes for an LRT, take the train for another 2 stops to coastline and then walk down the stairs to the concourse and then go down the stairs again to ground level. Also, remember this track crossing right before Samki? This would mean the North Branch trains would have to share this common track with the West Loop trains. 
The east and west loops already have enough congestion sharing tracks at Pongo Station, so adding a north branch would create another train traffic jam. It is clear in this case that extending the MRT would have been a more straightforward solution. A good LRT system, or more accurately, an automated people mover system, needs to be well integrated in a town's planning rather than built as an afterthought. But imperfections on our LRT designs aside, there is still something to be said about our Singaporean urban planning. When the government makes plans to build something, you can be 95% assured that it will be built. Any cancelled plans will long be cancelled before they even started construction. But in rare times when we discover remnants of failed plans like this, it's actually exciting because it's a window to how our real system would look like if history has gone another way. It's actually pretty fascinating for someone who stays in the northeast area to know that Pongo has an abandoned platform. I guess time to explore Pongo more? Guess what? This isn't the only abandoned platform in our MRT system. Want to find out more? Stay where you are and see you at part 2.